Are you constantly struggling? Are you constantly in feast or famine mode with your agency? Do you have great months where you're making a lot of money and then you have a month where nobody is responding to you and you can't seem to pay the bills? Well, in this interview slash discussion, you're going to learn how to not have to sell more in order to make more. And I brought a few people with me along for the ride. One of them owns multiple businesses, local, real, actual businesses. And he's also a partner of agency to partner. And the other is an asset recovery specialist, which we'll learn more about her in this video and the, as well as the next video that comes after this. So if you're trying to make a lot of money, guys, but you don't necessarily want to increase the amount of um, you know clients that you have in your agencies, you're stuck prospecting every day. You are trying to figure out how to stop juggling, getting good results. And then that's taking time away from you trying to go and get new clients. And then you have horrible retention rate because you can't satisfy everybody this this video right here is going to show you with our combined knowledge how you can increase the retention uh, of, of the people that you work with by converting them from clients to partners and becoming right. like a, a a part owner of the actual business without investing in the business literally being able to pull equity out of somebody else's business through leverage all right and that's why we have specialists on here today so if you don't know now you know and uh, we're going to get straight into it. Oh, be before we move on, guys, a lot of the content on the channel has been teaching you guys from scratch how to make money from scratch. This is not one of those games. This is not one of those courses. If you have a lot of the other courses that I've came with, I've been trying, y'all. I'm trying to help you. I'm trying to teach you from infancy to adulthood and everything. But agency to partner who this is for. This is for people that at least have one to five clients already. You have to have something to uh, to use in order to uh, convert them to partners. Yes, there's ways that you'll be able to get partners inside the program, the membership, but we are not really looking to uh, 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 pacify anybody from infancy. Like if you don't know how to market already, it's, it's not a marketing course. You're not going to go in there and see a million SEO videos, Facebook ad videos or nothing. We're literally going to teach you the 10 monetization methods that you can apply to convert your clients into partners and add an extra 200K to your income monthly guaranteed. You plug them in, that will work. But if you don't know how to market or get people results already, then you plugging in stuff is going to get you, min you still make money, but it'll get you minimal you know what I'm saying? Uh, results. We want you guys to drastically change your lives. So with that long Hi. intro, uh, Curtis, go ahead and introduce yourself. Hi, Curtis Witt. Uh, I am the uh, founder of a little small equity company, but also um, a experienced both ways on success and not so successful, uh, you know, running small businesses. And I can tell you just like the experiences that many of our agencies are going through, running a small business is quite honestly, it's, it's hard work and it's not as leveraged as we would like. And this process is a godsend to not only us, but it's a godsend to the, uh, to the partner or the agency agencies because they'll learn how to leverage. And you said something that I thought was very interesting and I'm going to piggyback on that. When you, when you are an agency and you have 10, 15, 20 clients, you may be making some money, but you are working and you're working for 10 or 15, 20 clients. Whereas you can have three or four clients and go, and go deep down the silo as opposed to going wide in the silo. And so that's a huge deal. Sorry, let me interrupt. Did y'all hear that? Now, that's contrary to what you've been learning on all these other agency channels. Most agencies are trying to get you to get a million uh, uh, clients at fifteen hundred bucks, two thousand dollars a month. Like, oh, we just hit eighty thousand dollars a month. You ask them how many clients they got. Three hundred million clients. All of them right. are jobs and headaches. Right. So what Curtis is, 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 is emphasizing is the fact that, guys, the difference in. Uh, 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 what we're going to be showing you in the membership for agency to partner is literally you can actually get rid of your problem clients. You're not desperate anymore. You can like literally laser focus on the, the clients that you have and convert them to partners. This will allow you to make way more money with the 10 different monetization methods if they become partners so that you don't need as many clients. The reason you guys are on this client hunt, the reason we were all on this client hunt too is because you're on the old typical base, uh, 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 trans, uh, traditional, uh, uh, what is it called, monthly retainer. You're on that. So it, it forces you to have to continue doing it. 
And it's, it's like a setup. It's like a trick. Because if you're constantly out there prospecting and trying to get clients, you rarely have time to get them results unless you have a good system to uh, for fulfillment with somebody else, right? So it's, right. It's, it sucks. And, and you're putting another shackle on yourself. But go ahead. Yeah, so that, that's that's the point that I really wanted to make that it, it, and it by being a specialist, it's just like a surgeon. If you're if you're a general surgeon, that's one thing. If you're a specialist, if you're a brain surgeon, then not only can you focus in on the research and the and the technology and the advancements of brain surgery, but you also become the specialist in that field and you position yourself as the expert in that field. You can't do that in a generalist. Uh, type of environment. And that's what this allows you to do. You take the 10 monetizations plus a few more that we that that will be bonuses. Um, and you take those 10 monetizations and you really focus in on them. You become experts at that and you get one or two, you know, niches that you focus in on. And all of a sudden, you know, there's nobody that can touch you and you can command your price. There you go. You heard it. You heard it. OK, we're going to pause because it's getting heated up. Right. You know, we're going to come back around to Curtis. Um, Ms. Lady, go ahead and introduce yourself. To the Hello, you guys. My name is Kim Robertson, and I own an asset recovery agency. And what that means is that um, there are a lot of people that are old money in their name and in their business name. Also, if you had an, um, a foreclosure, um, a lot of people don't know that when a house goes into a foreclosure, that they are owe money once it's once it's sell to a higher bidder. You know, the states sell their house to a higher bidder. It leaves a surplus, and it goes to the, the owner, the previous owner. So, with this little information that I have, <laughs> it's so much. I mean, it's so much uh, asset out there for these people, and they don't have a clue at all. So that's a little bit of what I do. Okay, so basically, guys, you know, y'all heard it here. Um, she does asset recovery and she does it in a different ways. Like she she doesn't just, um, you know, help with unclaimed money, but she can help you find unclaimed property as well. Um, also, what else? Oh, this is for individuals and businesses, mm -hmm. even freaking, even musicians like she does it for like celebrities. You guys, when I send you over there to her channels and everything like that, you'll get to see that she actually helps. Uh, uh, you know, celebrities like musicians find royalties that like age, uh, not agencies, but labels and stuff might have been holding for it from them and all different type of interest and stuff. And she's going to, uh, you know, she can help you guys recover money that, you know, like some of you guys have deceased uh, relatives that left you money and the government never they're not going to come knocking on your door and they're not right. They don't love you like that. But she can recover that money. Uh, if you uh, used to live at an old apartment building or something and never got to deposit and you forgot all about it, that's just sitting in the government somewhere. If you left jobs all the way from when you was 15 years old and didn't get your last paycheck or something, or if you never got your state uh, income taxes, uh -huh. <laughs> you know, it's just money all over the place. And she like I remember when she first brought it to me, then she uh, took it to uh, my best friend. Then she started going through the entire family. Then she started doing it for uh for strangers and so on and so forth, guys. And I just seen her do that uh, time and time again. And a lot of people are going out and getting payday loans, which you have to pay back. I'm not trying to down payday loans because sometimes they can save you. They definitely saved me back in the day. Um, but like you might have like just money just sitting there that you can that you don't have to pay back. You understand? You can use it for a down payment on something. You can use it for a special occasion. You can use it for, um, you know, like make bills or or, or, mm -hmm. or some, some holiday that you got coming up or something. Mm -hmm. But I, business, you guys, um, I, yeah. I have I had clients that used it for business equipment. Yeah. 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 Now, now, as she's going to tell you. Is no guarantee. Like she has to look you up. That's why you guys, I'm going to send you guys her information. She has to look you up. Some people might not have it, but then that's where she has other services that she'll be able to assist you in to make sure you can get money or get funded or get credit right or, or something like that. She, she's, she's awesome, right? She's awesome. Thank but anyway, you. <laughs> everybody on here is awesome. Look at Curtis feeling left out. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> everybody on here is awesome. All praises to the most high for his union right here. Um, thank you for going. Thank you for going super deep. I was trying to be simple and sweet with it, but thank you for going deep. I mean, asset recovery is it's a deep thing. It's a deep tunnel, but it, it can help so many people if the word was broader. Yeah, right. yeah, for sure, for yeah. sure. I just felt like since, uh, you know, we, you know, the channel is going to go in a new direction, man. Um, it needs to be more about community, you know, so it's going you guys watching this right now. 
You're going to start seeing way more people on here, more interviews, more people with agencies and stuff that have a different point of view. I'm like, we're not enemies of anybody. We'll let people come on and speak their piece and their points and stuff. It's, more, it's people on, that'll probably come on here and make more money than me. That's still not going to change the fact that I, I believe that uh, converting to a partner, can, converting clients to a partner will liberate you. It's not just about the money. It's about making the money in a freeing way. Like, how are you making your money? So a person could come on here and make a million dollars a day, but if they never see their family, I could care less. I don't want that million dollars. Keep it. Right. But if you can make that same million dollars and you don't have to do anything after the partnerships, then that's the type of life that I'm looking for and that I pray that my audience is, is looking for. Me and Curtis is trying to take you guys that route uh, with agency to partner. So he's going to explain the Cinderella equity game, guys. Yo, he's he going to let you know, man. So if you guys like that other video, the uh, digital twin clone, we can clone any business video, blah, blah, blah. Y'all like that one. Then this is about to go go hard right here. Um, we got a few questions or topics that we have formulated as questions or structured as questions. You guys can answer them in the comments as well if you have your point of view. Remember, this is an active, engaging discussion type situation. We're going to give our experience and why we believe what we believe. And you can learn from that and you can pick things up and, and go hard with it and change your life. Right. And if you guys have some uh, opinions or, or some experience in the comments, let us know, because then we might bring you on here and might might have to change some things around ourselves to constantly grow and get better. The whole goal is to free ourselves, guys. You think you're out of the matrix, but you're not. You took the chains of oppression from the nine to five, went and created your agency and went into another. You plugged yourself into another matrix that might even be worse. Because now you never get to see your family, at least when you had a job, you like, OK, when I get off at this time, I, I know I got my check and I can go hang out with my family. But now if you're constantly prospecting and then you flip around and now you got to do the fulfillment, you are frustrated, you're pissed off, you're 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 tired, exhausted. Trust me, I know I'm saying this with passion from experience. And then you look up and your children are two years older than the last time you looked down at the computer. You're like, how the heck did that happen? Right. Our goal is that for you. We want to, to change that. We want to help you change that. And that's why we said we're going after people that already have clients. You can get in there and get more partners if you if you want to. But the goal is is for you to already know how to get people results. If you already know how to get, you know, do SEO, if you already know how to do Google ads, YouTube ads, Facebook ads and stuff like that, then you're set. You you literally just need to switch them to partner and add and plug in a 10 monetization methods. That's that's it, right? That's it, right, Curtis? That's right. That's that's absolutely right. And there was some one thing that you that you mentioned that I, I want to say. I you know I look at quite a few uh, videos because YouTube is a university, oh so to speak. And, and so um you you'll get I made you get some and there's nothing against them, but you'll get I, I made a hundred appointments, you know, and I'm thinking to myself, oh, man, if you made a hundred you made two hundred appointments and you are doing those appointments, when do you actually get to actually fulfill what, so somebody is going to lack on the, on the, either the beginning part or the more, more likely the fulfillment part, because you don't have time and there's only so much time in the day, you know, and exactly. it's probably better to go after the fulfillment part and be really, really good at that than it is always constantly ABC, you know, always be contacting people, always exactly. be selling ABS. Exactly. So, so that, I think that's important as well. Oh, and, and he, go ahead. The, 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 the notion of being able to be free. I mean, w the methodology that we're talking about, it's a methodology that it's almost it's as close to set it and forget it as you can get. I mean, mm -hmm. seven of those 10, eight, eight of the 11 in the, in the bonus sections, you know, that we talk about as we go forward. Those are just, you know, you put those in place and you don't really have to do anything. Maybe monitor yeah, sure. and check your yeah. bank account. For sure. Okay. So <laughs> two things he just said, I and mean, we haven't even got, look, it's already hot, man. And we literally, I just told them to cut down. Uh, <laughs> we haven't even got to <laughs> the main topics, but he, he's, he's bringing out some, some like crazy points, right? Uh, I did a video a while back and somebody was like in the comments, like, well, what do you mean? What are we supposed to be doing if we're not trying to get a lot of appointments? Y'all aren't hearing what we're saying. We're not saying don't speak with a lot of people. We're saying free yourself. What do I mean by that? Like I said in that video, affiliate marketers are smarter than agency owners for some reason. 
they will spend the majority of their time building up interest for one webinar that will have hundreds or maybe even thousands of people on it. Look at what just happened with Alex Hormozzi, like the biggest event in freaking marketing history. He didn't talk to per one person at a time. His booking calendar didn't <laughs> wasn't filled all day. He he used all of his energy to focus people to one conversation. So that's what we're talking about. You can still talk to those hundred people. Just talk to them at one time, man. Like okay. talk to them at one time. Like because majority of what you're gonna say is gonna be the same thing over and over, especially if you're niched down. If you're niche down, let's say you're talking about you're, you're helping solar people. Why would you talk to them separately? They're all in solar. Oh, well, they're in a different city. And is SEO, is Facebook ads, is TikTok ads, is YouTube ads, is Google ads, is all the freaking same. So just had to go in on that. You know, like we need as agency owners, you need to change your mindset, become like a hybrid between an agency, a marketing agency. You know, take the know-how of of a marketing agency, but take right. the thinking, the mindset also of an affiliate marketer, because those dudes are looking for freedom. They don't want to be too much hands-on with the customer support. Like, think about that. That's why, because I used to talk stuff about affiliate marketers, and I'm like, they're not trying to build a name, you know, because the scripture, you know, you're supposed to build a good name. They're not trying to build a brand and all of that. They're not trying to build an asset, a product and stuff, right? I still believe that you're supposed to have your own assets, but check this out. One thing I also like about them is that they don't want to deal with nothing. <laughs> if you're promoting an affiliate product, all you deal with is the traffic. You don't have to do the customer support. Some of them, you don't even have to convert the sale. You just might have to drive the people there and they're going to convert the sale. Exactly. So we need to start thinking like affiliate marketers with our agencies and agency to uh, the agency to partner uh, membership is going to help with that. It's going to like he said, it's as close to set it and forget it as you you can get. You have the touch point of meeting the business owner, of course. But then once you plug in the 10 monetization methods, whether or not you are doing any marketing or not, like if you go after the type of partners that we're talking about that are already doing good. Just plugging in your 10 monetization methods will start building up your Cinderella equity, right? That he's going to talk about in a minute, right? So anyway, let's let's get to it, Curtis. Uh, what's the first topic? So I believe that our, our first topic on hand was in regards to, uh, uh, I think your question was, let's see, what's the best way to prove your worth to a client? What's the best way to prove your worth to a client? What do you think, B? Okay, let's ask let's ask uh Ms. Asset Recovery Specialist. What do you think the best way to prove your worth to a client is? This is gonna be controversial, y'all, when I get to it. But I'm thinking because um I mean I, I was like the I would like to hear y'all take on it for real. Okay. Because... Curtis, what do you think the best way to prove keyword prove? What is that? Is that a noun or an action? Is that a verb? Like, what is what is the word prove? Proof is the noun, and prove is an action word. So oh, I he really went in. Like, I'm talking about proof. <laughs> I ain't talking about proof. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm so, like, I'm less. I'm hey, I'm getting school. You know what I'm saying? I'm happy to be here. Okay. So, okay. So okay. I think the best way to prove, go ahead. Go ahead. No, 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 no. You go ahead. What's the best way to prove? I think, I think the best way to prove is to show proof. I, I so think. What do you mean? You, like a testimony? You, you you bring you bring um, evidence of what you can actually do, and that may be for agencies. That may be, hey, I've done these things in the past, and it may only be one thing that you did. I may have you know run Facebook ads and then increase the conversion rate of something in the past. You know, okay, and, okay. And, um, go ahead, go ahead. I'm sorry. And then you can leverage whomever you are associated with also as proof. You know, I, and, and, and that's what if you're a newbie, as an example, I would mm -hmm. leverage everybody else's proof because it's exactly. proof that it works, not exactly. necessarily proof that you did it. It's proof okay. that it works. True that. True that. And I, this, this is definitely one of the things that I teach, like case studies are case studies, whether you did them or not. And all you got to do is say that I'm going to do exactly what you just saw right here. All right. Now. But is that the strongest way to prove your worth to a client slash partner? No, it, I, I believe the strongest way is I did it. Here it is. And oh, by the way, here's what I've done for you. There you go. There you go. We was just doing a Bible study class, right? Every morning I have, I try to every morning have 
Bible study with my family before I do any of all this stuff. Right. Um, and it was talking about how Christ came. And now if you don't believe in Christ and stuff, this is not me trying to get you to believe in him or whatever, blah, blah, blah. It would be who it would be smart for you to, but I'm not trying to do that. But Biblical business principles is why I am as wise as people think I am. It's not me. It comes from the father. But let's move on. Christ said after the first and second admonition, admonition, reject, meaning everybody ain't going to believe you. Everybody ain't going to get it. You can sit. And, and then uh, we was just in John and he was talking about he did so many works and miracles while he was on earth that they couldn't even fit in in the Bible. They said no book in the world would be able to fit how many people he healed and the miracles he did. See, y'all just heard about wine and all of that extra stuff, but he did a lot more than that. They couldn't even fit it in the Bible. Mm -hmm. But guess what? After all those testimonials, after all that proof, did the Pharisees and non-believers still exist? Absolutely. Exactly. So some for some people, it doesn't matter what you show them. They still going to be skeptical. They still ain't going to believe it. They still ain't going to do it. So the strongest form of proving to a client your worth or partner is literally doing it. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. That sounds like a sin to the Pharisees of marketing, right? Like, they're like, oh, that goes against everything. I'm a high ticket uh, consultant, coach, dude, and professional guy. I got all of these uh, testimonials under my belt and all of that extra stuff. Well, you're wondering why. You can't break past a certain amount of money. It's because you have friction with the people that you're serving. When Christ went to go serve people, he didn't have a PayPal button there. He didn't have a, his cash app visible. He didn't have like so that limits you. It's not, it doesn't mean that you're not valuable. But the most of the people that you run into most of the time haven't heard of you. So now you're going your customer cycle sales cycle is going to have to be lengthened, you know, uh, for them to get to know you and all of that extra stuff. But like I was talking to Curtis about the other night, when you go into the store on Halloween, all of the toys have a button on them that says, what does it say? Try me. Try me. Try me. Uh, when you go to the food court in the mall, before you can even make it to the table, what 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 happens? All of the dang on restaurants in the food court comes up to you and hands you a sample. Now, how come in marketing we don't have a try me button? All right. I noticed Sam Ovens did something that most agencies don't do. He created a what was it, a week or a two week trial or something like that for his his consultant course or something like that. We're so afraid that people are just going to take our information and run off with it that we scare everybody away. But this dude was making what, thirty eight million dollars a year or something with his course. Right. And I believe it's because he didn't block anybody. Uh, Christ said, go to all the nations and preach the gospel. Your form of that is speaking openly to everybody, like whether they hear it for better. You're not supposed to be thinking them like, well, what if, if I tell them this and they don't sign up? No, you just give just give as much value as you can. Your sheep will hear your voice, the people that are supposed to work with you. So you're missing out on converting people to follow your your course or your coaching or your um you know agency or whatever. You're mm -hmm. missing out on them because before you've created a miracle for them, before you've healed them, gave them the sight that they never had in marketing, right? Before you have uh, uh, spoken the wisdom and put the spirit in them to, to actually have faith that you can do what you say you can do. Before that, you was like, all right, yeah, man. So you saw what I did for that dude over there. So, you know what I'm saying? Go ahead. Here, here's how you pay me. Now, I get it, man, because even me, I still have payment buttons on a lot of stuff right there. But if you want momentum, guys, like now, this isn't really counting for an agency to partner. I'm, this is now me just talking about client and customer acquisition, period. If you're trying to reach a high number of people, because remember, with agency to partner, you don't need a lot of partners to make a lot of money. But it, for those of you guys like who who are stuck, maybe you should change people's lives first. Right. I'm starting and I'm still learning a lot of this stuff, too. I'm not trying to act like I got it all together. Like I'm learning this as I go through the scriptures that like, dog, yo. That Christ was like, yo, my reward is in heaven. So he didn't have to charge the people up front or none of that because he knew he was getting his payment on the back end. So if you approach customers like that, like, yo, he knew what he had. No profit had brought before. He was unique. He knew he was the only right. He knew what he had was was powerful. He knew what he had would save their soul and life. So if you really believe that about your agency or your product or whatever you sell, then how come we don't 
Just look for it on the back end. Pause. Right. Right. Because guess what? If you let them try it and it's as potent as you think it is and you learn this from drug dealers, they will come back for more. Mm -hmm. So what we should be see, see, the problem is we don't have confidence. We, we don't believe our product is as good as we say it is. Right. So we, we are afraid to give people samples. What if they don't like it? Then I lose the money. Right. right. So right. what yeah. we should be focusing on is becoming better at our gifts. If you're if you're a Facebook ad, ad specialist, become better at it. If you're if you're if you're a, a LinkedIn recruiter, become better at it. If you be if you're a, a SEO, become like like super sufficient. Cut down on the time for results. Everybody else in the industry thinks it takes three to six months to get results and stuff like that. Well, how don't why don't you figure out how to get people results like in days or the same day or something in SEO? That's going to make you highly desired. Then you can approach a company and be like, look. I noticed that you do this service, you do that service, you do that service, you do that service. Uh, before I reached out to you, I took the liberty of putting your company on Google for that service. So if they were already looking for marketing, like I, I show you guys how to find these people that are already raising their hands, then and, you, and so you combine the fact that they are, you already had demand or they already had desire with the fact that you are now coming bearing gifts. No other person that prospected to them did that. So now they're they're going to work with you if they have any sense in their brain at all. So we're going to get to the main event of what this was about. But I just wanted to go through that because Curtis said something, but I've been talking so long. I don't even remember what he said. But <laughs> <laughs> all right. So uh, the question. Oh, the question was, how do you prove yourself? That's how we went on that rant right there. The, right. My controversial. Right. Controversial opinion. You can let us know in the comments what you believe. But I go off biblical business principle. So before I didn't really study this in the scripture, but now I see right now I see like, no, you should you should let them experience it first. Right. You should you should let them, if you're trying to get a client, you should let them experience it first, even if you got testimonials out the wazoo. Because they still have that question. You want to answer every single question that a prospect or, or something has. That question is, but, but my business is different or I'm in a different area. How do I know it's going to work for me, though? Mm -hmm. It's my last money. Yeah, 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 all of that stuff. How do I know it's going to work for me? I see it work for them, but like I'll be different, though. They don't be different at all. But that, that in their head, like you have to, before they can give you the money, gee, that question needs to be answered. And I, I was talking to my wife a while back and then, uh, then we're going to get move on about how many people back in the day I messed up on that literally approached with the same deal that we're talking about now. Like we would do prospecting and outreach and stuff. And they'll say, well, you know, my money kind of, you know, right now, but like, yo, how come, you know, I'll cover the, the cost and everything and you be a partner. Like, why, why don't, you know, you just handle the marketing and stuff. And, and you know, when we get a sale, I, I give you, you know, I cover the marketing, I cover the cost though. And I used to be like, nope, nah, you need, cause I was listening to YouTubers. Nope. If you ain't giving me the money up front, nope, I'm too valuable for that. Blah, blah, blah. Imagine how many people I passed up through the years and how many businesses are missing millions, how much in millions I'm missing because I passed them up. Now right. circle back around. I am now offering a partnership. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? And oh. now you see all over YouTube, what are they all trying to convert to? Oh, don't do SMA uh, no more. Become a growth partner. Uh, mm -hmm. Oh, don't do SEO agency no more. Become a growth. People are starting to realize, yeah, the typical agency model is slavery. And it doesn't make sense because you beef up. You beef up this other business and you get left at a retainer. Right. So, right. Curtis, what's the second one, man? What's the second well, one? Let me, let me just say this one last thing. And I think this can be a tagline. Be a dunner, not a doer. A be a dunner, dunner not, not a doer. A doer. The thing is already done. If someone can appreciate when you come in and say what you just said, which was, hey, I have these things. I see you done these things. Here's what I've done for you. Not here's what I'm going to do for you. When you bring that gift of done it versus doing, you know, it, it, it makes a huge difference. Yeah, it shines more. Yeah, it. Yep, mm -hmm. it does. And then that makes another point. So what man. should a new agent Hold on, hold on. Go ahead. That, makes, that brings up another point. It's a dude um, named James Dooley. No, no, no. I don't know if he's the same. No, it's a, it's a different guy. But he's a $100 million SEO. But it's this other guy. Like, in 2015, I, I saw an interview about him. He's from the Middle East. I cannot think of his name. 
but he's like the first SEO to start doing what what you just said, um, Curtis. Uh, and this dude, his first deal was ninety eight million dollars, mm. and it's with who is that plumbing company? Rotary, Rotor, or one one of them plumbing companies, one of the biggest plumbing companies. What he did instead of prospecting plumbers and saying, "I'm going to." go ahead and you know do your marketing for you and rank you and all of that stuff this dude built out in multiple cities and dominated in a plumbing niche collected the resume like i tell people to do like tracked all the calls and stuff like that for like months and months i'm maybe even a year or something like that made sure his assets were solid and then they approached him because it was what you say a done it was done right so all they would have to do is take possession of what was already set up they didn't have to because they had been watching already for a while and they, they they didn't have to wonder if he could get results futuristic they was like damn if we bought this from him we would blow the heck up right so they bought it for 98 million freaking dollars so sometimes if we slow down guys and that's what agency to partner membership is about, like slowing down. Don't you don't need a million partners. Slow down. The more of these 10 monetization methods that you can plug into in each individual partner, the more money you will make ultimately to where you don't need a lot of them. Right. Okay. So, yeah, I just wanted to go there. Yeah, because the done the donor thing like that worked. If he had approached Rotary, if he could even get through, you got to understand, like, there's a huge national company, right? Like, they reached mm -hmm. him because of the miracle, like the scripture says, the miracle that he did. Like, he was like, yo, they was like, who is this dude all over the country? We never heard of him. And they was like, man, they taking some some of the market space, market share from us. We got to buy them out. And then they turn. it turns out it was just this one solo SEO. Yep, because yep. he had done it. he done it. So if you guys want to prove your worth to a brand new prospect, you don't have to spend a lot of money, guys or gals. You don't have to spend a lot of money. Take a little time. Maybe write down a list of free ways you can generate leads. Okay? Like, do a little bit of research. Like, okay, this won't, won't take a lot of time and this won't cost a lot of money. At least I can throw this at them. So when I do... Uh, give the proposition or proposal or whatever, what I want to do. They know that I can do something. Mm -hmm. Right. So, all right. What's the next part? Actually, th that leads into the next question, <laughs> which basically answers. I think we've answered the next question, which is what should you do as a new uh, as, a, as a new agency owner? If the client asks you for testimonials. Ah, you yeah. <laughs> You actually, the client won't ask you for testimonials if you've done something for them already, because it's go. already proven. There right? you go. There you so go. It's like killing it before it's. Yeah, you don't need to. Like, dog, why do I care who you worked with before if when I'm working with you, you're killing it for me? Exactly. Right. Like, why, why do I care what you did? It's just like, even though. In relationships, I, I don't I don't I don't have the same, you know, philosophy for that. Like nowadays, these these people think, oh, that's their past. That doesn't. OK, well, when you know, AIDS can go 25 years without being recognized. So I do think you need to know a little bit about the past history of your 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 partners and, and relationships. But but in marketing it's a little bit different. It's just like, yo. When when you read people's reviews, my bad, this dang on dog out the side of the window, y'all. I know ghetto, right? He ripping up holes in the dang on yard. I'm ooh, that dog, right? Okay, anyway, it's a cliff, and y'all dang on USA uh, uh, um, uh, uh, animal abuse laws ain't gonna come get me. Not just playing. <laughs> I'm just playing. I'm just playing, right? Um, but it is a cliff right there. No, nah, I'm just playing. All right. Um, okay. So what I was saying, y'all. I just lost train of thought. Sometimes you just need to leave distractions. The and dang on dog was turning up the dang on yard, man. Like, I, 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 listen. Anyway, um, 
<laughs> what was I saying? I don't know what I was saying. So oh, I think uh, we should. I think we should go to question three because nah, he said he said that we had already answered. Uh, yeah, it, we had yeah, already I answered it. too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We, we, I think we. It's another it. way too, guys. So let's say that you want to be stubborn and you don't want to. <laughs> uh, you know, it's it's like a sin to do some free work up front. Okay, but like I told you guys before, it's a guy. Uh, named Brian. Uh, I can't think of his name because he don't do it no more. He left the game for e-commerce for some reason a couple years back. Uh, but he had something called the pay per lead army, and he was teaching people how to make a lot of money selling leads to uh to to businesses, right? And there's mm-hmm. one thing that I learned from uh from him, right? He was finding free ways to get leads. He would use the lead as bait. Even if you do do the work up front, sometimes, guys, sometimes it still won't work with you, right? So what he was doing to ensure that he got somebody, he called it the lead multiplier. So he would take that one lead and he would multiply it. What do I mean by that? Okay, so if we a plumbing lead comes in, and this is just answering the second question, just in case you guys don't want to do any free work up front. Um, um, he would take that one lead, he would look up all of the service providers in that specific area, and he would use them against the, each other. Why? Because it's leverage, right? Like, you know, if you just come in the game and, and you just have no name, then people are skeptical and they don't believe you. So let's say that we got Joe the plumber, then we got Ryan the plumber. Well, if we reaching out to Joe the plumber, We'll tell Joe the plumber, yo, uh, Joe, Ryan blank company uh, couldn't help this lead. So why don't you call them real quick? Because I'm telling everybody uh, they need help. um, They have an emergency leak or something like that. um, And they need help immediately. So I'm sending this to all of the plumbers in the area. I let them know that I'm sending it to all the plumbers in the area. And then what Mm -hmm. happens is it becomes like this auction type frenzy type situation where all of them become calling that lead. Only one of them is going to be able to service. Them. But now when they call that lead is proof is, is validity that you actually generated the lead. So what's going to happen is the person is going to say, yes, yes. Um, I, I'm already being serviced by a plumber. That's what those other people, four or five other different plumbers are going to hear that when they call. And they're going to be like, dang, I missed it. Then they're going to message you back and they're going to say, um, yeah, man, I was too late on that when I was already on a job, man. Uh, how, how do we get some more leads coming in and how do we make it to where it's exclusive? Then you just mess with, well, you know, exclusive leads cost a little bit more, right? Boom. There you go. There you go. So <laughs> don't think that you have to spend thousands of dollars up front for somebody. Go and spend the tiny. He used to teach us. Brian used to teach. Go on Craigslist. Put a Craigslist post up. And get a cheap lead. Wait for a cheap lead to come in in the market and take that lead and use that mug because it's bait to fish with. Mm-hmm. Somebody's gonna work with you. I did the same thing to get like hello realtors back in the day. Like I'll put up a, a seller lead ad. Hey, if you live in this area, we'll buy your house, cash off, blah, blah, blah. Soon as somebody came in, and I would say, okay, send us pictures of any damage. Send us uh, an appraisal. How much do you think the house would be worth after repair value? All of that. I'll take all of that information and I'll email blast it out to like 50, 60 dang on realtors in the area. And they'll be like, dang, man, yo, I need that. (laughs) You could take one lead, guys. Don't think that you have to do that all day and spend all your money. Get one lead and you'll be able to get multiple clients that you can convert the partner so now let's move on what's question three all right so question three is how do agency owners lower the churn rate of client acquisition Mm. can you want to take a stab at that how do agency owners lower the churn rate of client acquisition what do you think oh me yes oh me (laughs) yes you I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> this is, hey guys, this isn't her area of expertise, but we told I her like, that I would, if she wanted I would. to chime in on something, you know, okay. she's, it she was usually, a, to my offense, it was a couple of times I was trying to uh, chime in 
But y'all got it. Y'all got it. <laughs> Just let me know and we'll we'll be quiet. I'm gonna do me. like yeah. I have to we have to practice our signs that we wanna I have to put yeah, my hand yeah, like yeah. this. Figure yeah. up, yeah. Exactly. So I can chime right. in or whatever. But right, I would like good. to I would like to see what you guys say, think, and then I can probably, you know, think a little bit of what that will mean for you know my company. But mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, Curtis. Uh well, also audience, y'all answer in the comments, man. Don't be scared. Look, if you have experience then like put it in the comments man like nobody gonna join on you or make fun yeah. of you or nothing like that right so curtis what do you think is the best way to uh, uh decrease uh client churn rate in an agency so so one of the 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 first way well not the first way but mindset is very important i think going into the situation and understanding that hey i don't have to churn and burn i don't need a thousand clients uh i only need a couple of clients that's the first thing it's mm. mental mindset it's it's how you it's how you are approaching the whole business model that's yes, that right. becomes really important so now now that I understand that I don't have to have a thousand clients in order to make a million dollars and I don't have to work a thousand hours or 20, 20 hours of the 24 hour day in order to and seven days a week in order to make a million dollars. Now, understanding that and having that in my heart, not just in my head, but in my heart, because my heart will take the action. If I have that in my heart, now I can go forward. Now, how do I reduce the churn? I do an absolute, the best job possible for that one client. And I, lever <laughs> and I leverage every single point that we talk about. I leverage the 10 plus the couple of bonuses where we go into an affiliate army and we leverage partnerships uh, like a Groupon partnership, et cetera. I leverage all of that in order to maximize the potential for one partner. Oh, and I so. only need it. Right? But so, but so um, let me go ahead so, and lamb back on that like he said we'll lamb back on that because we don't eat the we don't eat the pork nah, all, right. <laughs> all right so you know what's funny what we just talked about just popped up on my phone eight lessons from booking ten thousand appointments <laughs> Woo. Woo. boy my nice. head hurt my head hurt talking to ten thousand people when i do a presentation, even though it might be a lot of people on there, it feel like I'm just talking to one person. I'm not. I don't want to sit and talk to ten thousand people individually. That's crazy. But anyway, all right. How do we reduce the churn rate in an agency for a client? Turn them into a partner. <laughs> turn them into a partner because then you have vested interests the same way they do another reason let me show you guys another reason why it's difficult for you to get clients is because you're getting clients right i know i know that don't make sense if 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 you never done something before look at it like this the client is a lot of those clients either been burnt before or they never paid for marketing before if you've never done something before and don't know what to expect you're nervous, you're afraid, right? And then if somebody don't see clearly, if they don't see clearly what uh, what would be your penalty for not delivering results, mm -hmm. if it doesn't look like you have any skin in the game, it feels like the seesaw is off balance and everything is on them. Do y'all understand? So if you if you approach as a partner, it literally means to them that, yo, you need this to succeed as much as they do. That's right. That is the best way to decrease churn rate. Convert your clients or any potential client into a partner just off top. Let them know how you'll feel the fire if this doesn't work. 
Like maybe that should even be the first com uh, com um conversation. Like, yo, uh, this is gonna work because if it if it wasn't to work, I would be, you know, I would have to go through this. I would come out of this. My reputation would suffer this, that, this, that, this, this. I wouldn't be able to make money until this time, that time. Don't you guys remember when we, uh, when you had babies? If some of you guys have babies, or you watched a movie, maybe, um, and you'll see, like, when a when a grown up gets hurt, the babies always laugh. It's, it's they want to see you suffer too, and that's how your clients are. If if they give you money. They want to know, like, if this doesn't work, what, like, are you still going to be walking off all jolly and happy and like, ha, got that mf -er. No, <laughs> but if if you express to them, like, yo, th th I have to make this work. Right. I have to I have to make this work more than you do. Like, it, then they're like, dang, OK, let's we're, we're going along for the same ride then. Right. Right. So then they're more open to your creative uh, uh, ideas for marketing and and all of that stuff, too, if you're if they're looking at you as a partner. And then it opens up more opportunities for monetization for you. Right. There's there's a, another uh, there, there's a side benefit to that. And and I, 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 how do you reduce the churn rate? You never leave. And what I mean by that is it doesn't mean that you don't separate the relationship, but your oh, asset yeah. mm -hmm. never leaves. If you have a payment processing system in place, if you have a marketing system in place that you're getting paid on, if you have other assets in place that the company is relying on to produce income, you can separate from that individual, but you never leave. Yeah, you can check out, but you never leave. But you never leave, yo. That's going into what he's going to be talking about a little bit later, yo. As soon as you get in the agency, the partner membership, the second step for your partner is you're going to start creating the digital twins. These digital twins, you own them either one hundred percent or fifty percent, right? You own them, but right. you you have the right to sell this part of the business, all different types of stuff that you don't get when you're just some freaking marketing agency, right? So like he said, even if you were to decide to, uh, you and your partner were to decide to cut ties, you're going to be so, that, like his systems rely on the things that you plugged in. Like the 10 different monetizations are, are a part of their business now. It's right. like a kitchen table. If you cut out one of the legs, it's, it's going to fall, right? Depending on the type of table you got. But you get what I'm saying, right? <laughs> right? So it's the same way. So, yeah, retention is extremely high when you get partners the way that we get uh, tell you to get partners because you're going to be plugged into them to where if they were to cancel anything that you helped them with, even after you left, a lot would change in their life and probably not for the good. Okay. So I, I so so Yasriel, I don't think they understand. So let me let me just like give a practical example. Yeah, yeah. I, I I build a digital twin and I say I'm gonna go sell my twin for passive income to investors and I get my quarter of a million dollars and I separate. Yet that digital twin still has the pay system that pays me every single month. Exactly. I can check out of the relationship, mm -hmm. but I did not leave. Yep. And you can't get that with the typical agency model. You can't even get that with the new growth partner model. Once you sever the partnership or contracts or whatever you guys be using, uh, um, it's all over. You got to go and find somebody new. Me and Curtis and those of you who get an agency to partner program, you guys can still be getting paid years later from people that don't even like you anymore. Maybe <laughs> I don't know how you cut ties, but hopefully it's on good terms. But like they literally won't be able to unplug from what you're going to set up, guys. So you'll be making passive income 
from people that you probably haven't even talked to in years. That's, That's right. why it's stronger than the affiliate marketing business model, but it's also stronger than a typical agency model. It's like the perfect model because it's complete leverage, right? All right. So monthly retainer versus partner model, which makes the most money. I love that. Ali, wait, uh, Kim, go ahead and answer that question. Which one makes partner? more money? You say what? You say, say that again. The monthly retainer business model for agencies are the partner model. Which one makes the most money? The partner model. The partner. <laughs> why is that? Why is the partner model, why does the partner model make more money? Because with the retainer, that side is bull crap because that's it. I get paid and that's it. But the partner is keep it coming. You know what I'm saying? Keep it rolling. Yeah. Okay. And, and and let me land back, if you will. <laughs> <laughs> let me land we're back. Gonna on that. In, we're gonna have people in the comments saying that now. Land back. And land, land back. back. Let me land here. back. Um, the, the the what Kim articulated was a principle of finite versus infinite. Hmm. Yep. I can make on the retainer a thousand dollars, twenty five hundred dollars, five thousand dollars, even ten thousand dollars. Even ten thousand. Yeah. But that's one aspect of it, right? And I'm work if I'm making ten thousand if somebody's paying me ten thousand dollars, you better know that I'm working. And oh by the way, if they're paying me ten thousand dollars, you better know that they're making at least twenty. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. yeah. But now I can I have 10 monetization methodologies. Jeez. And a couple of those I really do control. Like, you know, I, I don't necessarily I, I can help with the with the payment gateway and things of that nature, you know, and drive more traffic and that will increase. But things like email and, and SMS and offers that I can draw, I can control that. I can control. Mm -hmm. You know, I have 10,000 people on the email list every week I could offer something and every week I know for sure statistically somebody's gonna buy something but every up, single up. week every single week see I <laughs> and, and so I don't my potential every single week you know and if only you know five percent of the people of that 10,000 list buy something that's 50 people, right? I mean, I mean, I mean, that, that's 500 people, excuse me. If those 500 people buy something that at a few dollars, I've made that retainer in yeah. the first week. And then in I go the and offer something else. Week. See, he didn't, just, he didn't just drop. Like, go ahead. Yeah. I was saying that's only one of the 10 monetizations. Mm -hmm. And I didn't even leverage my affiliate army or my other partners that came from Groupon that we put together packages. See? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. hey, see, see, this is what I'm saying, y'all. Like, this is not, you're not going to get what you're typically getting in a typical agency model or course. This is not just, oh, this, this is how you go get a client and um, this is how you set up their Facebook ad. And uh, yeah, man, when, it, you know, <laughs> every month they're going to pay you. See, with that typical business agency model, and once again, like I did it before and I'm not stumping on it, but we have to all evolve, right? We have to evolve, right? Um, check this out. You have a constant fear. And I am telling you from experience, you have this constant fear. Even when you're getting them good results, you have this constant fear. What if they cancel? Like I finally got my family good. I finally got some money coming in and stuff. And, and then I make plans for the future. Next month, we're going to go to Six Flags or Raging Rivers or, or we're going to go to Disney World and stuff. And then you get an email that says, hey, I ain't going to be able to afford it this month, man. It was nice knowing you. All of you guys watching this have that fear. I don't care what videos you upload. I don't care. You know that tomorrow or this in the morning, you can wake up and all of them, because I've experienced it, can be like, yeah, man, it's 
a scam demic going on. It's 2020. Uh, you know, businesses are suffering. I ain't gonna be able to pay you no more, bro. And then boom, yeah. overnight, 90% of your freaking uh, uh income is gone. Yeah. You got that yeah. fear, you know you got that fear, but guess yeah. what? When you become a, a partner of these businesses without investing in them, it doesn't matter if they cut the retainer that you have. That's right. Like Curtis said, whenever their company gets a Okay. All right. We're, we're back. We're back. back. We're back. I don't know what that was. Cam, you got to unmute yourself. Okay. All right. right. She's unmuted. All I don't right. know. Hey, y'all, we are in Panama <laughs> and the, the internet is crazy, right? So it might happen like that sometimes. But like, I don't even know if y'all know what happened on the other side. I don't think it does anything for the viewers when it cuts off. Maybe that's just for us. But anyway, it's back now. Um, <laughs> what I was saying is when. When, whenever they get a sale, we get a piece of that. Whenever they get uh, uh, somebody swipe their credit cards through the business, whether that's in person or on a website, we get a piece of that, guys. Whenever uh, um, they decide to get funding, we're going to get a piece of the 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 the, uh, the loan. And if we set it up properly, we'll get a piece of whatever they're buying because we'll be the referral partner of the office supplies or the, the new commercial restaurant or something like that. Whenever they come to us and say, yo, I need new chairs for the restaurant or something, we will go and find in partnership with the, the company that they're going to buy from. So you're going to have infinite possibilities of income just off of your one two or three partners a month you don't need a million right and then we have other like 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 uh curtis was talking about now since they're your partner you have equal rights to the emails lists that they had before you met them as well as the new emails that come in and the sms for you to be able to uh uh remarket retarget and sell other products that are related in that niche all That's of that right. belongs, everything digital belongs to you. And you're leveraging that that partner in order to build your digital twin. So it's, 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 hopefully that gave you guys a little bit more, you know, there's a lot more inside the agency, the partner membership, uh, where you'll know how to actually implement this stuff. Like we have it to like step, 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 step. We got a lot of mindset stuff in there. But then we got the step, 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 step for you to actually plug in the stuff and go. Absolutely. If you already have clients, you can go in there today and you can start yeah. converting partners. Absolutely. They're not going to turn down the deal because it's, it's better for them, too. Right. All right. Yeah. Anyway, that was good. I, I think the other thing that that is important is once you've done some of that stuff, the business owner now not only looks at you as a partner, but relies on mm. you. And mm. they, I mean, at some point, they really can't let that go because you're their go to person. Even if you don't know nothing, uh, Curtis, I, I, I need some chairs. I don't know nothing <laughs> about getting no chairs, but they came to me first because mm. I've done all this other stuff for them, yeah, right? Exactly. So, I think that's important as well. For sure, for sure. All right, let me go on. We talked about monthly retainer versus partner uh, par partner model and who makes the most money. What's the future of marketing agencies? Now, that's a good one. That's an interesting one. What's the future of marketing agencies? You want to take that question first? Now, I'll let you take it first. You, you go first okay. on that one. Well, first of all, we want to hear what y'all talking about because then we'll be able to create more... Um, um informative and valuable uh videos in the future for you guys that's out here for free for those of you who are not inside the agency the partner membership which you should definitely be inside there though but uh <laughs> we want to help you guys out here on youtube space too right so make sure you're in, you're you're engaging and asking questions and answering questions in the comments so that we can like actually really make this stuff work for people right mm -hmm. okay so the future of marketing agencies is ever evolving okay um there will be an endless 
future for platforms. Uh, there will be an endless future for tips, tricks, and strategies, right? So that's not what you need to look forward to. If you lost out, if you missed out on dominating YouTube and stuff, it's okay. Don't cry. It will be a new one. If you missed out on TikTok, it will be a new one. If you missed out on Instagram, so on, so forth, don't cry about that. That's not what you need to master. What you need to master is formulas, biblical business principles and formulas, laws of marketing that don't change no matter what year platform or device you're on. So what is the future of marketing? The future of marketing is the same as the past, and that is partnerships. And I'm not just saying this because of uh, agency to partner. For those of you that, who think that, let me clarify. Let me show you exactly what I'm talking about. The scripture says, be ready to give every man an answer. So I know y'all like, what is he talking about? The future of marketing is partnerships. Well, how about this? Um, it was a dude in 2011. Like I ran into his video and it changed it helped change everything. And this dude, without any ad spend, without any like website, without any of that stuff, became a millionaire just through joint venture partnerships. He would do what I usually talk to you guys about, lead swapping. He would find two different businesses that complement each other. And he would set up a lead deal with both companies. And he would say, how much will you give me if I bring you a lead? They'll tell him. Then he'll go to this other company and say, how many, uh, uh, how much will you give me if I bring you a lead? Then mm -hmm. they will tell him. Then he will tell them, OK, sometimes I'm going to send you uh, leads. You know what I'm saying? For this, uh, let me know whenever you pay attention, whenever it's someone you can't help. Let me know. So he will wake up with an inbox full of people that uh, that specific partner couldn't help that he would then be able to take to the other partner and sell to this partner over here. So let's say you got two plumbers and this plumber only services the 63118 area code in St. Louis. But this other plumber services St. Ann in St. Louis, which is a 63074 area. The 63074 area, he's ranking higher on Google for a plumber. So somebody calls him and says, yo, I need an emergency plumber. He says, what's your address? They say, I stay on Tower Grove near Arsenal. That's near the 6311 area, uh, area code. So he's going to tell them, oh, I'm um, sorry, we don't come out that far, but I got a guy for you. I'm going to send him your information and he's going to call you. So now that guy calls me, the joint venture partnership guy, gives me that lead that he couldn't service. Now I call the plumber from the 63118 area code and say, I got a guy off of Tower Grove and Arsenal that needs an emergency plumber. Um, should I charge a card for this? What card do you want me to charge for this? Do you do you guys see why I say that's the future of uh, partnerships or the future of marketing? I just showed you guys a business model right there that doesn't require a website. The future, uh, uh, you're only one funnel away. It was no funnel. It was no website. It was no box. It was no nothing. It was partnerships. Oh, oh, you still don't get it. Well, let's go back to ancient times to the first MLM ever. There's a guy that you guys might have heard of before. You know him as Christ. Well, he was the strongest, more, most powerful flesh to ever walk the earth because he came straight from the father. But did he let that stop him? He needed to get his message to the four corners of the earth because he was only going to be here for three years in the flesh. And the best right. way he thought to do that was to make partnerships, train, teach, recruit disciples the first ever MLM partnerships thousands and thousands of years ago. So what's the future of marketing when, when the dust has cleared and the smoke is cleared and 
when Facebook becomes MySpace and YouTube becomes Vimeo and your email list dries up, one thing that will still exist if humans exist will be partnerships. So that's why that's the future of marketing agencies. I I cannot uh, I can't add to that. Uh, I will only hop on the side, like like one of those you know those those uh, you know how they have those scooters or yeah. those uh, motorcycles, and you got a little yeah, and they got the little on the side right there. I I will <laughs> I will add the notion that says in that little cubby hole, there's always innovation. And there's always formulas for innovation. And um, part of that, we've seen the evolution of, you know, partnerships from 3,000 years ago to partnerships up through Groupon, right? And, and, mm -hmm. and I would add things like partnerships as it relates to virtual partnerships. A Groupon, it literally, you know, you, you are a marketing person and you have another person over here and you have another person over here, you put all that package together and boom, all of a sudden yep. you have a virtual business center that you didn't have before. That's innovation, still partnerships, you know, still partnerships, but it's innovative partnerships. And that, that That's could so. be certainly one of the things. So, That's so. That's okay. so. To say that more plainly, platforms and partnerships, man. Both of them start with PP, right? That's right. That's absolutely <laughs> right. That's absolutely right. Yeah, man. All right. So one, one, one last question. It says, how can and I'll, and you will answer this first and then I'll come in. How can the eight R's help existing agencies? Okay. Um, well, the eight R's are simply going to be uh, a more uh, strategic and detailed way of plugging in the 10 monetization methods that we go over inside the uh, agency to partner program. You guys are going to learn through the, the eight R's how to build up the Cinderella equity of your digital twin that if you decide to one day, because you could keep it as passive income if you want to, right? But if you decided to, you would be able to go anywhere, whether that is uh, Empire Flippers or some type of private equity firm or biz by sale, and you will be able to sell your digital twin. All right. So the eight R's are just the way to build up the strategic like step by step formulas uh, uh, an implementation of the 10 monetization methods that will increase the worth of your digital twin guys. So there you go. Uh, that, that, that is, that is absolutely excellent. You know, what, what we did was we, we aligned, you know, all of the digital twin uh, R's, the innovations and, and took all of the, like the steps and just kind of show you, how that step is this innovation and here's what you can do and some of them are bonus steps so for example we, we talk about how you can repurpose a particular group right and and you 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 you're using emails and sms but you repurposing right but you can also take that to the next level with things like affiliate armies you yeah. can also take that to the next level with things like partnerships. And then there's a next level. So you have an affiliate army and you have a partnership and you go, wait a minute. These partners also have potential uh, uh, affiliate armies. So if I have a, a dentist and a, a, or a massage therapist and a chiropractor and a chiro person, right? They all have... They all, all three of them have email lists, right? Mm -hmm. Now they come together, they form their own affiliate army in which everybody's now taking advantage of that. 
That's leverage on top of leverage on top of leverage. leverage. Yeah, for sure. That's, I mean, that, that's, that's, that's the word of 2024, y'all. Leverage, man. Leverage. Absolutely. And so all of the R's merged with all of the steps, the step by step, because that is just absolutely beautiful. And then you get to the most important R. Well, actually, there's 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 two the tail end of the the R's are really, really important. Reassessing. How do you reassess the business? So I show you up front how to value the business and then you do all of these steps. How do I reassess the business? Because now the business is in two pieces. There's the physical business and then there's the digital twin, the virtual business in which I've taken all of the income from the uh, on the digital side and put it into the digital business. So now I have an assessment of that business and an assessment of the physical business, right? right. So how do I assess that business together? And then how do I either divest or continue to go, you know, what's the ways that I can divest? How can I get, now I've done this work. I've done three, four months worth of work. Fastest time ever that I could have got a valuation of over a million dollars, right? In three or four sure. months. You couldn't have done that. You couldn't have done that at all with a, just a physical business. Three or four months. Now For I've sure. done that. And now I'm like, okay, I want to get some money out of this thing. What is, what, what, how can I do that? You know, you have groups that you can start, you have investor groups, you have online. Uh, here's a, here's a thing for everybody. Go to, go to uh, biz by sell or go to uh, guiding light or empire flippers. And you can see those digital businesses for sale. And you can see what I call what their multiple is and, and you can see how much money you can take out of that particular business. You don't have to divest yourself totally. You could go and crowdfund and give a portion of your business, you know, to to that crowdfunding platform, basically, and get extract money. That I mean, we talked about, you know, hey, how how much is it? How much is your agency really worth? On a somebody can pull the plug. Versus this this partnership has not only is it, you know, providing passive income, it is an entity in which I can sell, you know, mm -hmm. you can't sell your, your you cannot sell your retainer yeah, and your you retainer is, is worth exactly what you get for it. Three thousand dollars, a thousand dollars, five hundred dollars. That's what your retainer is worth. Whereas okay, so somebody, hold on, Curtis, somebody's going to jump in and say, well, I heard that this other agency sold their agency. And yeah, they, they, they can sell their agency, but what they don't really disclose majority of the times is how much they sell it for. Most of the time they're selling it not to a private investor or some real business buying uh, company. They sell it to other agencies right? and other agencies aren't going to be able to pay you what a private uh, equity firm yes. or real VC and, and all of these people will be able to pay you for a business. So what Curtis is saying, guys, mm -hmm. if all you have, like, because it's, it's not the same thing, like having retainers it is not worth as much because... Okay, it's the same reason why PayPal don't like marketers. It's the same reason why PayPal and Stripe tries to block you when you tell them that you have an agency because chargebacks, high refunds, you understand? Well, like it's, it's an unstable business model. It could be worth millions this year and then it could be worth fifty thousand dollars next year depending right. on the economy or how how That's the clients woke up the next morning right so yeah it's it's different right. but if you build if you use the clients or the partners to build the digital twin that is something that is constant in worth right. you understand what i'm saying like it, and and it it not only increases the value of the digital twin itself, but like Curtis was saying, being attached to the physical, it increases the the worth uh, uh, um, uh, of the actual entire like company. Period. 
right? right. If you guys wanted to, if you guys decided that you wanted to sell it as a whole, then it would really make a crap load of money. Then, right? But anyway, go That's ahead. Crazy. So, so the one thing that you said that, that I think is really, really important is when you talked about how you know the the agency that retainer, you better have an ironclad, solid retainer type of agreement that almost guarantees. Okay, for the next two, I have a three year deal. You know, it almost yeah, have to be like an yeah. NBA, NFL deal. I have a three yeah. year deal that's, that I can take somebody to court with. Not a yeah, I have yeah. a. I have a deal and, you know, Joe Blow wakes up the next morning. He says, hey, you know, things are looking down. I'm not going to be able to afford you. Uh, that yeah, that yeah. type of that's on a hit and miss. And so exactly. and the type of stuff that we're talking about, if that business is open, you're making money. The only way that, that what we're talking about that you don't make money is the business has closed. And I've had businesses close. So I know. If that business don't make any money. Now, here's the difference. If I had had this model, the digital side would have still been going. Interesting enough. I was just about to say that, man. Hey, you, you knew going. where I was going, man. I was just it about to say still that. been going. Yeah, even, even if the physical one shut down, guys, don't forget we leveraged that partner to build a digital side. So then we can redirect the lead and customer flow to a new partner, right? Like we can redirect whoever needs to do the fulfillment to a brand new partner. If Let's say it's a restaurant and we built up like, you know, this digital entity for Mexican food. Okay, Casa Gariado, they closed down, right? Okay, well, guess what? It's this Hacienda type restaurant down the street and we can just redirect all the Mexican food inquiries and traffic to them down there. So our digital uh, digital twin is still worth as much as it was worth when the uh, our initial partner first started up, right? We so, still I mean, have all the specials. We still can put together all of the all of the auxiliary uh, type of offers to them. We still mm -hmm. can, you know, make. All other type of affiliate partnerships. We still have the the uh, the affiliate army still available. You know all of those things. So so my bad that I did not you know think about that from that perspective. But if even if the physical goes away, the digital is still there, and you can still don't make forget money. too. Uh, don't forget also like even if the business shuts down. You still got the list of the customers from that business. Exactly. Yeah. So I mean, we we this is why it's important, guys. That's why at the beginning, when he asked the question about the uh <clears throat> you know, showing your worth and all of that extra stuff. Um, dude, like you guys, we all should be striving to get partners no matter what. Do not let some, oh, they can't afford to pay me up front stuff stop you from getting partners. If these people are getting traffic, if you're doing your research and, and now if, right. if they're a company that's just setting up and you it's going to be a headache like getting them traffic and all of that, then okay, whatever. Maybe you do need some money up front. But if they're already doing good and all you're about to do is jump in front of the traffic, like you're just literally about to jump into the money right if if that's the situation then and they, and they don't want to pay you up front as long as they agree to your partnership agreement allow you to plug in at least majority of the 10 monetization methods that are going to be painless to them they're not even going to notice right it, as long as they allow you to do that then don't trip off of the upfront. Now, I know we be having like emergency situations where we need money. Fine. Then get that, get that, but then get right back to the partnership mindset. You need the partnership, the partner, do whatever you got. To. That's why we said at the beginning, yo, I mean, you hear me? Like if they're already doing good, that means just by plugging in a few of the monetization methods, you'll start making money within the 48 hours that you start working with them depending on what they already got set up 
maybe 24 hours. It just it depends on what they allow you to plug in. But you're you're not going to be dead if they don't give you money up front. So we wanted to come on here so that we can help more than anything change the mindset because we've been so programmed through all these agency YouTube videos. Yeah, man, I just got to, you know, they just paid me $10,000. You know what I'm saying? I just met them three days ago. And I'm, you know, I've had videos like that too, guys. But like I said, we have to evolve. You're slowing your growth down by putting barriers to entry right a, a while back i did a video i was in mexico you remember that uh video um mm -hmm. the thumbnail was disney world i think i had mickey mouse on that mug or something right and it's called creating a theme park product and i was talking about how most theme parks now disney and six flags and stuff like that they their brand is so powerful that that you'll pay right at the gate, yeah. right? You, they're still going to get millions of people. But most like town uh, carnivals and theme parks and stuff like that, they don't have a ticket price. You walk right in. They understand that the more people come in, the more money they're going to make because you're going to want to take pictures. You're going to want that stretched penny. That's why the zoo is free. You're going to want... Uh, the dip and dots ice cream. You're going to want the funnel cake. You're going to want the giant turkey leg. You're going to want to ride all of that extra, uh, uh, those extra rides. You're going to want to play in the arcade if they got one. Shoot down the dang on teddy bears that you got to pay a quarter to play. You're going to want to hit the dang on giant hammer and and all. You're going to want to do all of that stuff and all of that stuff costs. So the the cost of the ticket, a hundred bucks you're scaring them away from paying you three, four, five hundred bucks when they come in with their entire family. Right? So right. we have to start thinking like that with the theme park product. Okay. Like even, even me back in the day, before I got caught up in a lot of this bull crap that YouTube brings, remember back, uh, when I used to have uh, my first beta version of the Effa job uh, school, my courses used to be free. You remember that? And I used to monetize them with CPA offers and uh, affiliate offers. You remember that? So I didn't have a, a gateway where they had to pay or anything like that. They can literally just start doing the course work immediately. And I set it up strategically, just like a theme park, that if you want to enjoy or benefit from the course theme park, that you would need this tool. You would need this software. You would need this document. You would need mm -hmm. this, right? If I, you create theme park products, then you don't really have to have a barrier to entry. So I think we need to get back to that, guys, because you're you're slowing. We're all slowing our growth rate when we just smash five thousand, twenty thousand dollars in somebody's face. If they come to you and be like, "Yo, I got this much money. I'm ready to pay you today," then cool. But if you re if you know you can get somebody great results and they'll be a great partner and you approach them and they be like, yeah, but I can't pay you up front. Don't be like, oh, man, like, OK, have confidence in the 10 monetization methods that you're going to plug in your theme park. Have exactly. confidence. in that, Right. So, OK, fine. You can't pay me up front. For example, we're about to start. We're going to show you guys this limo company. Uh, this dude reached out to me, right, and been emailing me like crazy. Anyway, we're gonna we're gonna use him as a case study. He didn't pay up front, but that does not deter me. It used to, but that does not deter me anymore because the ten monetization methods. He got seven vehicles. He's in Miami, so. Whatever little chump change he was going to pay me up front is nothing in comparison to when we start running some traffic through that business. That's right. That's right. Because I was going to turn him away. The the devil on your shoulder. That's the that's the agency. Iman Ghazi uh, uh, <laughs> model right there. Like, like dog, you got to pay charge these Negroes uh, fifty thousand dollars. You know what I'm saying? Code. I'm a high ticket Dan Loke consultant. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> 
okay, all right, but now you can only deal you you're limiting your reach now. Mm -hmm. So, like I said, you only you you can only you only need a few partners. But if, what if you wanted to now? If you don't have any barrier to entry, and all you have to do is plug in the ten monetization methods, you can literally move from partner to partner to partner to partner to partner to partner. Now, imagine how fast your income and its passive income and its recurring income, daily income. Let me show them a, 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 a site, and then we're gonna um, close out. I'm gonna show them a site, and then I'm a I'm a um, Hold on. Let, while you're doing that, let me just say this really quick. You know, we talk about, we, we go back and forth about whether you want to own the digital all yours or you want to, you know, partner with and give, you know, the owner a portion of that digital. It's much easier to give the owner because my opening slide to the owner or my opening sabo is let me show you how we can double the value of your company in right, the next right. days. Right. And so if they're interested in doubling the value of their company in the next 90 days, it's what, what do I have to do? Okay. I need, we're going to do this, 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 and this. I don't have any barrier around the notion of, well, I don't want you to have my email list because it's you going to benefit. Exactly. And that's what I'm I don't, Go ahead. Go ahead. I don't want you to have this and I don't want you to see that because you're going to benefit. And I would take 50 percent of an increased value of a million dollars in that business and go on to the next one and the next one because I'm I, I, it's least resistance. Yes. And I and now because I am going deeper down the well of the partnership and the 10 monetizations plus a couple, including partnerships, uh, bigger partnerships and, and uh, like affiliate armies. If I'm, if I'm really, really understanding those and really, really mastering those, I could do this all day long. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, man, let us know in, in the comments, if y'all learn something from this session, we're gonna be bringing Curtis, and we're gonna you guys are gonna be seeing a lot more of both of them, Curtis and Kim, because we want to help you guys. You know, 2024 is y'all year and beyond. You understand? And and but you have to level up your thinking. Don't just think about leveling up your income, because your body and your actions follow your mind. So if you're still thinking in old traditional, stale, frictional models, then your income is going to be just like, trust me, man, there's a lot of stuff that hold me back that I'm still working on breaking out. My finances aren't where they could be as if I if I had implemented this stuff years ago before the scamdemic. The scamdemic took out 80% of my freaking online assets and stuff uh, when Google did their their update and took all of my Google My Business listings out in one swipe. I had hundreds of them and stuff, right? But if I had, the only thing that kept us afloat during that time when 80% of my freaking income went out was partnerships that I already had set up before the scamdemic came. Mm -hmm. That was the only thing that, that had us. And we was in a whole different country, Mexico. Like, what the heck was we going to do? No family, nothing. So, Guys, this is why we preach this partnership stuff, because it gives you room. It gives you space. It gives you comfort. It gives you a uh, 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 cushion. You understand right. what I'm saying? And it allows you to grow and leave that rock bottom place that you're at. Because if you got an agency, even if you had $50,000 a month, you're still at rock bottom in my book because you're a slave. OK, tell me you're not. OK, anyway, um, you're going to show you. Guys the screen real quick uh and this will just help you because then you'll, you'll be able to see i i'm so sick even though i just did a video guys a lot of this stuff is just bait for y'all you know what i'm saying when i do these titles with certain numbers in them oh this is how you can make this much per month it's because i know that's what y'all click on that's what your mind is preoccupied you want to make ten thousand dollars a month but how are you going to help the world with $10,000 a month? How are you going to save the world with $50,000 a month? It, you know how many people in the world? You know what you've been called to do? Like, 
you know how great you are? What the heck you going to do? You shouldn't put a number on your gift. All right. So let me give you guys a little bit of something that can boost your drive. Maybe Red Bulls will give you wings, but this should give you money. Bow. Go to this site, tapalttea.com forward slash profit dash per dash second. Okay. Now, this, this website right here shows you, and I'm about to show you guys, the amount of money per second that the largest companies in the world are making. <clears throat> you want to know why I don't talk about how much I make? <clears throat> because it's, in, it's embarrassing. When you come to this site, it humbles you. That's why I, I love visiting this site, because you guys will get to, <clears throat> all I see is these titles, ooh, uh, my agency, how I made my agency $100,000 per month. What I'm going to show you guys can only be achieved when you evolve. What I'm going to show you guys is a combination of what Curtis was saying, platforms and partnerships, not the traditional agency model. You're not going to see any of them on this list when I show you the amount of money that these people are profiting per second. Let's go ahead and begin. Okay, the world's biggest companies generate an incredible amount of money each year with tech giants such as Apple posting annual profits as much as 57 billion. Okay, cool. But we got to break that down for you to understand what that truly means. And then you'll see why you can't sit and do some one on one. Uh, my calendar is book crap. You think that's going to get you to a billion? Let's move. I'm going to show you. Apple, number one. Number one on the list is Apple. Apple is making $1,820 per second. $109,000. This, I, I'm at $109,000 I mean, $100, per month with my marketing agents. Apple is making $109,000 per minute. This is why I don't sit up and brag about how much I made before or how much I make currently. Because when you look at sites like this, it lets you know that you haven't made a dent, scratch, grain of pepper, salt, nothing in the world. Nothing. Now, I'm not saying that your gift, God given no, gift, is defined by your money. <laughs> But what I'm saying is you guys watching right now, marketers are prideful. So you guys care about your money all the time. Don't act like you don't. So I'm just trying to bring you back down to earth and humble you and let you know that we got work to do. We got work to do. And you're not going to be able to get. I usually don't like to tell somebody what they're going to be able to do, but you're not going to be able to hit numbers like this with a traditional retainer. You're not. Prove me wrong. Name a company. Even the ones I showed you this uh, today where I told you about the $100 million uh, dollar SEO dude. Look at the profit per day for Apple. Can somebody other than me read that? Because maybe they're sick of hearing me. Mm -hmm. How much is that per day profit for Apple? Anybody? A of, that's a lot of money. It is. It's, I don't even. That's $157 million, uh, $290,411. I'm saying I, I can't even say it because it's like, damn, that's a lot of money for that per day. I'm seeing videos where people upload no <laughs> how I make a million per month and stuff like that. And sometimes your mind will get caught up in that because of whatever financial situation you're in right now. But then that will lessen your your abilities guys y'all don't understand that will lessen your abilities if you sitting and watching how i made my first million or how i made five thousand dollars per month that's going to lessen what you're actually capable of i don't give a i don't care about no first million when he does in an hour 6.5 million now now and this is the whole point about agency to partner, guys. Now, I'm not saying that we're there because I'm nowhere near there. And I'm not saying that uh, uh, you'll be there. OK, but what I'm saying is agency to partner membership puts us all on the track to be doing the same things that got these people there. Apple owns platforms. We got the Mac. We have 
the iPad, we have the iPhone. On those platforms, they created partnerships with app developers, technicians, designers, coders, and said, you can promote your stuff on my platform so everybody that buys one of these devices. And now Apple gets a cut of all of that from owning the platform and controlling the partnership. Right. Are y'all getting this? Are you seeing what I'm talking about? So if anything's going to put you on a track to making this type of money, platforms, which is why I tell you guys to own your own platforms, directories, affiliate networks, all of that, platforms, partnerships. That's that. You got an iPhone watching this right now or an Android. You can't run. Even if you got Android, we got Google Play Store right here. Platforms partnerships okay so quick getting caught up in all that yo i made this much blah, blah, blah. even when you see my videos if the title is that guys listen don't get caught up in that that's the the whole goal is for you to have limitless we want to be limitless you know like the movie but limitless right okay like i don't even like making titles like that i wish you guys wasn't so attracted to that Bull crap, but Damn. if I don't put that in the title, then you won't. You know, I'm supposed it's to like the scripture say I'm supposed to speak to them in a the language. I got to speak to y'all in a language that y'all know, right? So that's what y'all click on. So that's how I attract you, which sucks. Now we go to Microsoft, which is next. And one thing I want to emphasize or, or highlight is the fact that the people we're talking about on this list. They're not stuck behind our computer doing one-on-one -on -one sessions. They're not stuck behind their computer uh, uh, book, booking their calendars. Like I, when you, you look at the billion, the millionaire and the billionaire morning routine videos, man, dog. A lot of these people don't even get up. I remember Jeff Bezos. He said something about some. He just he don't go into the office until around eleven a.m. Do a meeting and then leave. And then maybe uh, do a, a meeting from home at around five. And that's it. <laughs> while we all change to our computers or while you're all clocked in at your job, these dudes, they own the platform and the partnerships and they get to live life how God intended us to live abundantly with freedom. So agency to partner membership was created so that we can start freeing ourselves absolutely okay so microsoft 44 i mean dog look at this profit per second 1404 bucks now a lot of you guys and me myself included are guilty of this <clears throat> excuse me <clears throat> our client would be 1500 dollars a month now think about how many seconds or in a month you, do you see do you see what i'm y'all see what i'm talking about right and we'll think we the king of the freaking land when we get a retainer for fifteen hundred dollars a month we stunting we on instagram flashing we on all of that we got e mine guys no offense we got all these dudes riding around copping their little rolls royces and their little little uh, automars or whatever it is getting $1,500 a month client while wow, we got companies out here making $1,400 a second, $84,000 a minute. I just saw a video the other day. Oh, we just reached our first $80,000 a month in client retainers. Now in the comments, it's going to seem like I'm hating. I'm not. Whatever. See, this is the thing. I was just about to bite my own tongue. I was about to say, whatever frees you. But that don't free you. That That's the matrix I was talking about. You think when you created the agency, it freed you from your job because you was able to put your name on the check now. But it didn't. But you're still tied to somebody. When we create the digital twin through these, we're leveraging the partner to build our digital twin. We could say sayonara if we wanted to. I mean, freaking Jeff Bezos don't even own Amazon no more, but he's still the richest man in the world based off of how he structured it. Well, one of the richest men now. Come on, y'all. Then we got Berkshire Hathaway, $1,300 per second. 
Like, even if we go to the lowest, like, we can view all of these. Like, come on, guys. Like, I'm seeing even affiliate videos where, where they're talking about, yo, I'll show you how to make $100 a day. And that's cool because that, that, that helps people that never made anything online. But then we got to start graduating and knowing that there's something more. It's not about greed. It's about the fact that these are the people that move the world because they are capable of doing it now. So if we sit and complain about governments. We sit and complain about presidents and laws and rules and all. These people can look at who's getting voted and just jump the country. Mm -hmm. Or they can buy who's getting voted in. Do you do you do y'all understand what I'm talking about? Like we got to level up our mindset. Even this one, even the lowest. Come on, like. 165 bucks per second. F $14 million a day. I remember the first way, first time I woke up was when I realized that Coca-Cola was making $19 million a day. I said, how the heck do you make, people don't even make that in a lifetime. Or matter of fact, just based off of our history as a people, we haven't even made $19 million in generations. $19 million a day? That lets you know that you're in a different era. And we have the internet, we have computers, and we have people. You are fully equipped to make moves, no matter what you look like now. Like, dog. So, I'm sorry. Y'all see how passionate I get? Okay, now then went up. This is Pepsi right there. Oh, yeah, I was right. 19 million. So it's still there. Right. So in CVS, this is exactly. And CVS ain't even ain't even old and they're making 19 million dollars a day. That's what I'm saying. A lot of these companies, guys, you be like, of course, they've been around since the 1800s. Pro progressive haven't been around since the 1800s. And look at them. What, yes. what is this? 15 million dollars a day eBay haven't been around since the 1800s. 15 dollars a day. All state. $15 million a day. Qualcomm, $14 million. Adobe, y'all know what Adobe is. $14 million a day. So I don't want to hear it. This has never been a better time. You're creating digital twins. You can literally, within a, a span of years, look, look at this. We set this stuff up right, y'all. You can make moves. Then you don't care about the governments. You don't care about the laws. You don't care about none of that. Only the poor citizens of the world care about what the government is talking about. And I'm just being real. I remember being at the job and that's all they would talk about while we sitting up there waiting uh, for a bus trip. Yo, who y'all going to vote for? Now, I don't really like that new guy they going to do. Who cares? Their own family ain't voting for them. <laughs> who cares? OK, so I just wanted to throw this out there because you guys need to go over. If you see the first pin comment, you'll see agency to partner. I'm not going to beg you. I'm not even going to ask you guys what you going to do. That's what I'm going to ask you. Like, we're trying to set you up for stuff like this to be right. on that path. Like, I don't know what you're going to do. God give you your your abilities and stuff. But this, at least we we are trying to enlighten you and put you on the path to where you're not stuck in slavery still. So while you got your nice clothes on, while you're eating at the fanciest restaurants, wake up in the morning and look at this and humble yourself and calm your little butt down and start really trying to build something. Platforms, partnerships, platforms, partnerships. The link is in the first pinned comment. We enjoyed you guys watching. Uh, Curtis, if you wanna if you wanna say anything before we ride off into the sunset, no, actually, Yasriel, I think you said it all. Quite honestly, I think that they, I, I think that a, as we continue to evolve the conversation and we get more into the the steps and the R's and and talking about them, people will have a greater appreciation. And the time to do it is now. The time to mm -hmm. take action is now the time to you know get out there and and put your feet and and solidify for the next quarter you know your all the actions because 
quite honestly, you have two or three clients now and you could have four or five clients and that's really all you need. Um, 2024 can be your biggest year. It can be your highest profitable uh, earning year that totaled every year that you lived or been working. You know, it could be, you know, you could have a five million dollar and that's probably more than you've earned over your lifetime. And so mm -hmm. um, I would just encourage people to really look this over again. It may come in a few parts, but look, watch this video to really understand the breakthrough, the, sure. the innovation. And it's kind of revolutionary, quite honestly. So, for sure. and, and and let me just say before we ride out, um, I'm like I said before, I'm I'm nowhere near this per day or anything like that. Oh, we got some more companies down here. <laughs> wow. Okay, I'm I'm no more. I'm I'm nowhere near this per day. But what gives me comfort is knowing that the model that I'm choosing is the same model as these companies that were just started a few years ago. A, a lot of these companies were just started a few years ago. So if you guys are wondering, well, how long does it take or how fast can this kick off? Look at the, the companies on here and tell me they're not doing what we're talking about. Like, look I at see them. a couple of them that I have slaved and worked at. So yeah. just, <laughs> and just looking at that and seeing how much money they really make. I mean, I'm not mad at it. I'm trying to get a piece of what they, you know what I'm saying? The show, so, yeah, right? I used to work at Procter and Gamble. Yeah, and I worked at Walmart. Yeah, see? So, so but but we was on the lowest of the lowest, y'all, right? The lowest of the low. Yeah, now we have the opportunity through platforms and partnerships to become something more to become a mover of the world, which we were intended to, right? The world was not just given to a specific uh, uh, percentage, wealthy 1% type people, but we just allow ourselves to be dumbed down through, through their marketing. Those people, these people right here, pay a lot of money to make sure you don't ever get to touch their, their wealth. And you let them, which are viral TikToks. Okay, so... <laughs> Okay, guys, so the whole goal was for us to level up with this one um, in the first pin comment. Like I told you, that is a way that you can go ahead and get started. This is a membership. I shouldn't have to say this, but once we're done building out all of this, this, this uh, course will, is not just a course, this membership will be in the high thousands. Okay, not saying that to scare you, but right now it is extremely affordable. I'm going to say cheap for most of you, but I'm going to say affordable for those of you who might not consider it as cheap. Everybody, the point is everybody watching this can get it. Pause. Everybody watching this can can get in, in there if you want to. I'm just saying if you want to. Don't come to me with your excuses. You know more than I know that you you can do it, right? You've done it before many times, right? So I showed you guys profit per second so that you can know. Like, cause we talked about it this whole video. The typical agency model ain't, ain't gonna get you there. Now, just showing you this, you tell me if I was lying. You tell me if I was, I don't know, unless you wanna be mediocre. Uh, you, you wanna be mediocre, okay, fine. Go ahead, get your $5,000, $10,000 a month, right? But if I wanna feed a freaking dang on army, like I know I'm not gonna be able to do that with $5,000. I'm just not. I could barely feed my family with $5,000, right? So anyway, uh, Kim, uh, do you want to say anything closing out? Um, I just want to say thank you for inviting me on, you guys. I enjoyed this. Um, it was very informational. Um, it's very eye-opening. Um, if you are thinking that you are doing something in your business, you're not. And I <laughs> and I'm just excited and I just um, hope that people listen and take action on this mm -hmm. opportunity because true reality, like um, we're not seeing this type of money 
And, you know, if you're not been doing the activities or going for the things that actually teach you to get this, then you will never make it. So that's all I wanted to say. Yo, she, she said going after the activities. Uh, we have something in marketing called IPAs. Mm -hmm. And that is income producing what? Activities. Activities. So you hit the nail on the freaking head. Guys, one-on-one -on -one consultations is not an income producing activity that's going to get us to these numbers. And I, I, I've been learning that a lot. This, listen, I just recently had a lot of these revelations, y'all. So I'm not trying to assert authority and make it seem like i know too too much more than you guys right because i would if, if i did i would have been like on this list too so my goal is is for all of us to be awakened and enlightened and understand that the income producing activities that we thought we were supposed to be doing probably aren't the ones we should be doing we shouldn't be uh manually prospecting ourselves we shouldn't be manually uh calling for show we shouldn't be manually doing uh one-on-one -on -one consultation calls and even after a while you shouldn't even be doing the freaking webinars yourself that's right even after a while the top dogs it wasn't into the social media age uh but the top dogs wasn't even doing the interviews themselves they they hire publicists and spokes uh people right so like and now you can have AI to do it. There you go. So listen, oh yeah. To reach uh the video after this is going to be uh about Kim and uh asset recovery and how she can help you guys and she's gonna help Curtis as well. She's gonna show him um a lot of money from his businesses that he probably wasn't even aware of guys so you want to stay tuned for that to reach her you can go to kf network official on youtube kf network official on youtube that's a new channel over there um um doing some renovations but yeah go over to kf network official and subscribe guys and uh subscribe. yeah she, she does she does her thing with with the asset recovery and helping people with the funding and and all of that stuff so like i wouldn't have brought her on here if if it wasn't legit okay um yeah so i hope y'all make the right move y'all have access to contacting uh us through the agency to partner membership in the first pin comment don't forget to follow uh uh kf network official as well and we will see you, Lars Will, in the next.